Well, apparently it's time for Fun in the Snow Fan Friday. Even though some of our snow is melting, we're still gonna have some fun. What do you think, Memphis? Woo! Get her. Get her, baby, get her. Get her. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there, Goofy. We're gone to the snow dogs. This is Galico and it's Fan Friday! First question for Fan Friday! What's all that stuff all over your yard? This isn't actually poop you guys, it's actually dirt. We had um, a big mud hole in front of our door so we cleaned it all up and Jamie moved some of the dirt from it back here. And then he made this cool path for the dogs to walk down in the snow and it ended up throwing dirt all over the yard. <laughs> So yeah, it really is just dirt. Could you try to make a spirit hood of Memphis, Oakley, Shelby, or Shiloh? If you guys think spirit hoods should make a Gone to the Snow Dogs hood, message them on Twitter. Get on Twitter and tweet at them, say, at spirit hoods. You should make an at Gone to the Snow Dog <laughs> hood. Our Twitter is Gone to the number two, the Snow Dog. Tweet at them, you guys. If you want it to happen, I think we could make it happen if enough of you tell them you want it to happen. I want it to happen. Rx Ferru says, do you have to be active to have a husky? It is highly recommended that you be an active person if you have a huskies because huskies are very active dogs. If you're the type of person that just likes to sit around and do nothing and relax, your husky's not going to be happy and then they're going to become destructive. So I would highly recommend you be a fairly active person to have a husky. Active and adventurous. Go Memphis, go! Poof! <laughs> Poof! Yep, that, that's about how it is. Just like that. Get her! <laughs> uh. As they get older, they're not so active. Hence why Oakley is not joining in on their fun. She's over there. Cameron Dahoney3 says, have you ever actually been to an actual sled dog race and are you planning on going to any? Yes, we've actually been to quite a few. We have quite a few videos up from Mid Union Sled Haulers and their sprint races. We're hoping to go to a race next weekend and record that for you guys. And then we're also hoping to be at the Kalkaska Winterfest race. Uh, yes, we have been to them. Yes, we've, we've, we've really been to real sled dog races. They're a lot of fun. They're definitely fun to go to and to watch and to talk with the people who have the dogs. What are you doing, silly? Quite a few of you this week asked, what food do we feed our dogs? I know quite a few of you are new. Down in the video description, we actually have a link to the dog food that we use. We currently feed our dogs Dr. Tim's Kinesis. It is an all life stages dog food and you can order it from Chewy.com. There is a link down in the video description if you guys want to find out more about Dr. Tim's dog food. BVBY Cat says, how come Shelby is your icon for YouTube and Instagram and most of your other social sites? No hate, she's super cute. Um, part of this reasoning is because we don't have an actual logo made yet. Part of the reasoning is because Shelby was one of the original two huskies that we had that started this channel. But we're actually working on getting a new logo made, so that all might get switched soon. Shelby also has a very recognizable face when it comes to being a husky. She's a different type of color. There they go. <laughs> and there they go! And Oakley's like, nah. So that's part of the reason why we kind of use Shelby. She's recognizable, everybody knows who she is that knows us. There they go! <laughs> and there they go again. But that might be changing soon. So we shall see. You girls are nuts. You're just crazy. Lion Silver Spirit says, are all of your huskies female? Yes, all three of them are female. They are the girls. And um, Shiloh, our dog we had that passed away, uh, January 17th, 2013, she was also a female. We've always had girl huskies. No real reason other than that's just always been how it's worked out. I have nothing against boy dogs. It's just always kind of been how it's worked out. One more thing before we go. Down in the video description, there's links to all of our social sites. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I believe Vine is down there. If you guys aren't following us there, you definitely should be. Especially Twitter. We're going to start doing some live Q&As on Twitter. We did one this past week and it went over fairly well. So I think we're going to be doing them more. So if you want a chance to have more questions answered, make sure you're following us on some of our other social sites. These dogs are all over the internet. Plus you get to see fun pictures and things like that that you don't necessarily get to see in the videos. So you should definitely go check that out. We got some mail. We got some mail. P.
apparently Memphis is the only one that's going to do mail with me today, huh? Just you? Just you and me, baby, huh? First, for those of you that ask over and over and over and over what the dog's favorite treats are, it's these. Any of these blue wilderness treats, any of those plus the grain-free ones, those are probably by far their favorite treats. We got a package from Lori with shirts that say Podience Member. That's pretty cool. We have a couple ideas for how to do some of these, but I might have to message you because those are definitely pretty cool. And there on the back, it has all of our social sites. That's pretty cool. That's a really neat idea. And we got a letter and a drawing from Ella. And a whole bunch of really cool artwork from the Tilly family. You guys sent a lot of really neat stuff. And a Christmas card from Aaliyah from Romania. And we got a letter from Alyssa, and Alyssa wants to know, how often do you buy food for your dogs? It's about one bag every three weeks. That's about what it lasts us. And the other question was, do you put the girls' names on one tag, and then your name and contact info on the other tag? Yes, on the girls' dog tags, which they don't currently have on. One tag has their name, and one tag has our name, and then our phone numbers on it. And we got a letter from Emily with a picture of her dog Luna and she wants to know how do you stop the puppy from biting? You gotta train it. We always use the yell ouch and ignore method, but it's, it's not an easy thing to do and it takes a lot of time, but it can be done. And we got a letter and some drawings from Instagram user LaurenXOXO. Here are the drawings and they want to know how much food and cups do you feed your huskies a day? They get a total of one and a half cups for the entire day and they're fed three times, so they get half a cup at a time. And are your huskies spayed? Yes, all of our huskies are spayed. And we got a beautiful letter from Brad and Brad wants to know what dog food do we feed the dogs? We feed them Dr. Tim's and Brad also wanted to know about their favorite toys. You know, the girls are more partial to food than anything. They definitely like their treats. Shelby is the biggest toy dog. Memphis, are you napping? And we got a letter from Rhonda, and Rhonda wants to know how old Shiloh was when she passed away. Shiloh was 11 years old. Look at this lazy dog. You're being lazy for Fan Friday. And we got some drawings from Gracie. She drew me as a pony, which is adorable. I have a little dog bone as a cutie mark. And then they also drew Jamie as a pony with an awesome little Jeep cutie mark. And the question was, who's your favorite pony? I don't know, as silly as it is, I think it's going to have to probably be Pinkie Pie. We had this discussion not long ago. If the dogs were actual ponies, uh, Memphis would be Pinkie Pie, Shelby would be Rarity, and Oakley would probably be Derpy. <laughs> I like Pinkie Pie because she's like excited and happy about everything all the time. And that's just great. I mean, honestly, look at her. Best day ever! And we got a beautiful postcard from Tatian, and I have no idea if I'm saying your name right, but they want to know who's the most talkative out of all the dogs. It's definitely Oakley. Oakley's the loudest, Shelby's the whiniest, and Memphis is the quietest. Memphis has never been much of a talker. Maybe someday. And we got this from, it looks like it says Leia and Apazus. And we got some drawings from, let's see, Chase the German Shepherd Pup at Instagram from Australia. So we got all these drawings, which are awesome. And then the dog's got some treats and some toys. This one is for Oakley. She's ran in the other room. This one's for Memphis. I bet Shelby takes it. Oh, Memphis, you got it. Hurry up, steal it. Shelby, here's a tennis ball. She's like, nope, I'm gonna steal that toy that's meant for Oakley. Oh, you want the treats. Well, where's Oakley? <laughs> She's like, I'm napping. Well, there you go. Thanks for sending that stuff. <laughs> all right, you guys, well, that's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. These girls are still being crazy, crazy, crazy in the snow. Oakley's over there. She's like, I'm not being crazy. I'm just being over here. <laughs> uh, if you did not do so yet, be sure to go check out Monday's video where we made chicken soup for the dogs. And then go <laughs> check out Wednesday's video where we did Star Wars Petco toys. You girls are nuts. And if you want to see the girls sledding, head on over to youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs. Uh, we already uploaded a sledding video over there and we'll be uploading one here on Monday. <laughs> As always, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. They're like, rest, eat some snow. Goodbye! Ta